What's going on guys, Fully here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. We got Miles here. You actually do a little bit of like everything. You know, I try, I'm the master at none and you know, jack of all trades, yeah, exactly. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. So uh, where are you from, what do you do? So I'm the president and co-founder of Dub Magazine, Lift and Level, uh, Dub Show Tours, all of the Dub products. And then um, I also uh, was one of the co-founders of TIS and Drop Stars Wheels. And I've designed the wheels, the current wheels, and I've designed over 180 wheels in the market wow, so far. Wow, that's so, crazy. Yeah. So we got another episode of This or That. We got Keaton behind the camera. He's going to ask the questions. We're going to answer them. 2020 Duramax show build or 2020 Power Stroke show build? So in 2020, the Duramax kind of got a refresh and they changed up the uh, the front end. The 2020 Power Stroke also has a new front end, but it's, mm -hmm. it's relatively similar to the last generation, just like a different grill. Um, I actually like the older power stroke better, so I'm gonna pick the Duramax. You know, I'm a Chevy guy, so I'm gonna go, you know, I've never been a Ford guy, so I'm sorry to the Ford owners. Right, but we're gonna make some people angry. That's today. right, bro. Right, I'm a Chevy guy, so I have to go with the Chevy. And it looks sick, too. It does. Yeah. Color matched wheels, yes or no? So I think you can, if you color match your wheels to the body color of your truck, it's really easy to overdo it with the color. Like we have from TAS the exclusive red finish, which looks really sharp on black vehicles, gray vehicles, white vehicles. But if you have a red truck and then you put red wheels on it, I think you can overdo it. <laughs> it looks like crap, you know what I'm saying? So it's too <laughs> much, At least yeah. he's completely Yeah, no, honest. for sure, for sure. I mean, color match works if there's like another accent. So yeah. if it's like red and black or something that's a little bit more, you know, it, it has to be kind of like 60-40 as opposed to 80-20 or 100. Right. So, but yeah, I mean, when you have color match wheels or any color wheels, they look the best on black, white, or gray, I think, yeah, you know, for I sure. Agree. For and sure. It's, it's one of those things where, like, if you had the milling painted red, yeah. or if you had the milling painted blue or whatever else to match your vehicle, then you can pull it off. But yeah. when the whole wheel is one color? No, no, it looks, I don't know about it looks, that. It looks ugly for sure, yeah. Wide stance or flush with fenders? This is custom offsets, wide stance. That's, that's how it goes. You know, I like thick chicks, so you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, I'm gonna go with the wide, you know what I'm saying? So like it poking out a little, you yeah. know, for sure. I mean, that's really what it's about. I mean, back in the day when, you know, and came out Dub Magazine, it was, that was the reason why people looked at the magazine was because of the stance and how the car sat and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Because at the time, OEM, just like the OEM trucks right now, the wheels stick in so much. Right. So you need that offset to, you know, make it, in my opinion, look flush, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I mean, there's a good, you can make a nice flush setup look good too, but I feel like that's reserved for like the classic or old school trucks. Yeah. And with these big trucks that we're building now, you almost have to go wide, otherwise it just looks disproportionate. Well, well it depends. Got tiny little tires It depends, it. if you're looking at it from the side, it looks amazing. Yeah, that's And as true. soon as you look at it from the rear or the front, you're like, what happened? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. Reown your first vehicle or own each other's first vehicle? Okay, so what was your first vehicle? My first vehicle was a Toyota Celica. Okay. It was like in 1989 or something like that. My first vehicle was a 2001 Ford Excursion. I'd rather have his <laughs> than mine. You know what I'm saying? I, at the time, uh, I hated driving it because it was so huge. And like in high school or when I was you know, 16, I was like 100 pounds, tiny little kid. Now I'm fat, you know, but whatever. And uh, well, you look skinny next to me, dude. You know Thanks. what I'm saying? Appreciate yeah, it. that's why I mean, he asked me to be on camera. I've literally today. gained you like know? 40 pounds since I started working here. Um, that's because you're happy, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'd probably keep the excursion though, because it was a good, it was a good vehicle. It had the 6.8 liter V10 and not the not the diesel, but uh. I don't know. I don't know if I could be a Celica guy. Well, yeah, but my Celica hat was, you know, lowered. Yeah, had you work, had it all done. Yeah, up. work arrow fins and, yeah. you know, sonic turbo exhaust and all that stuff. So, I mean, it was it was pretty nice. But, I mean, I've uh, deep down inside, I've always been a truck guy. Yeah. So, like, I love the excursion. I, I'm, I ride motocross on the weekends. So, to me, it's always about, like, you know, big trucks. And I'm a little guy, so I need the big trucks to make me feel big. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, you and I are about we're pretty similar in height. Yeah. yeah People yeah. always... People, when they come to the shop, they're like, oh, you really are that short. Well, thanks guys, really appreciate it. We make we make the wheels and trucks look bigger. That's our yeah, job, right? Yeah. That's our job. TIS 544 black and milled or TIS 544 machined in black? I hope the TIS 544 MB machined black does as good as the 544 BM because the 544 BM has been 
a really, really good movie for us. Yeah. You know, so I'm hoping it is, but you know, there's something about the black and milled. It just, it looks, you know, like jewelry-esque, you know? That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I love the way the new one looks with the machine face. And I know a lot of people really like machine face wheels, especially if you've got some chrome accents on your truck or some other silver pieces kind of tie it all together. Absolutely. But at the same time, the uh, black and milled one just it makes the spokes look so thin and it looks so much like a forged wheel at that point that I, I think that one's my favorite but i'm interested to see and excited to see what the new machine face one does too oh yeah yeah and then we just launched the 547 too which is a multi-spoke kind of directional um that one's a new wheel that we came out with that kind of falls in line with the 544. Yeah, I'm and, excited for that. I, yeah. I think, prediction, that it's gonna do better than the 544. Some people argue Dude, with me. pay the man, <laughs> pay the man, right? Thank you. Yeah, you're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Well, you know, we, we got a lot of input from you guys as well, so mm -hmm. thank you for all the input and all the great work that you guys do. It helps us do a better job with what we do. So. We just wanna make, we wanna make the best wheels possible. We want you guys to make the best wheels possible because it's all about giving it to these guys. That's right, that's right. Giving the customer what they want. Stock Jeep or stock truck? I guess a, I feel like a stock truck might be more usable for me. I don't know. A stock Jeep's pretty capable too, like off-road wise, probably more so than like a long bed, four-wheel drive crew cab truck, just because of the shorter wheelbase, but I think I'd still go with the, the pickup. I don't know, are you a Jeep guy? I love Jeeps, but I do not like the way they look stock, personally. Yeah. So I have a hard time with that. I think trucks look better stock than the Jeeps, just you know from that. But a stock Jeep is a, a stock truck is a Raptor, so I'd go with the stock Raptor, Ooh, right? Yes. Come on, dude. Good point. Stock Raptor all I day. Take, I'd take a Raptor yeah. for sure. Even if it's uh, even if it's a smaller Raptor, you mm -hmm. know the new Ranger. Yeah. I, I saw those last year in Australia, and I was just, this is sick. Yeah. You know I can't what I'm saying? Wait so here. stock Ranger. Raptor or Raptor, I would run that all day. I like it. Yeah, stock. Won't even change the rims. Lifted four-wheeler or lifted side-by-side? -side? Hmm. I think lifted four-wheelers just look like they're going to tip over. <laughs> so I guess I would do a lifted side-by-side. -side. I feel like I've seen some of those. Yeah, the, in, the uh, mud ones and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or even like at SEMA, some guy had like uh, American Forces on one. I've seen uh, that. There's a lot of. We had one in our booth. I think it had like 48 inch tires on it and stuff. That's nuts. Four wheel turning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. But I mean, it's. I think both are awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, I think both are awesome. But um, the side by sides are just so fun to drive and, you know, just so get out fun. there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would agree with you on the side by side. And then if you want to bring someone with too, I feel like it's easier to have a passenger on a side by side versus yeah. not a four wheeler and sitting behind you, you know. Yeah. My girlfriend would be really angry if I dumped her off the back of it. Especially if it's a guy. You know what I'm no. saying? <laughs> You're like, dude, hold on. Slow down, man. Slow down. You know, right? It's romantic. So we're going with the side by side. <laughs> yeah, that's, it. that's it. Yeah. Supercar or Max upgraded show truck build? If you, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Let's pick. Well, that's an easy one for me. I've had supercars, and I'm fat and short. I don't fit in them really well. You know what I'm saying? They're not very comfortable. Um, I'm also Asian, so I'm an Asian driver, so I like to hit curbs. <laughs> so, you know, the trucks probably work the best for me. So I'm, I like moto, you know, so I throw mm -hmm. my bike in the back of the truck. So um, that's an easy one for me. I've owned supercars and stuff like that, and they're just so hard to drive. Yeah. You know, to actually drive them and enjoy them. Yeah, if you actually want to, like, drive it every day. This, yeah. Everybody thinks, like, oh, if I got a Lamborghini, I'd drive it every day until you actually get the chance to drive one, and then yeah. you can't see anything. No. The cars don't like short trips. Like, then you need to warm them up completely, otherwise they drive like crap, yeah. which is, you know, I feel bad saying it because everybody dreams of owning a Lamborghini or Ferrari or whatnot, and they say you should never meet your heroes, and that's because they'll let you down sometimes. So, <laughs> um, although I still think I probably would pick the supercar over the, over the truck simply because I like to go fast. There it is. Yeah, that's, How about that's a fast truck, see? Yeah, I mean, if I got like a Raptor, you know, and upgraded turbos and we're pushing like 7, 800 horsepower, you could do it. then I could do it in that too. That's right. So it's really it's really all about the speed. If it's a, I guess if it's a complete show build that's all maxed out, maybe it's fast too, then I could go with it. Yeah. Whatever's faster. I had two Lambos and then one of them, the battery died in the car mm. and it was 1800 bucks just for the battery. Yeah. Six it's, grand it's to tune the car up. So I was like, man, I could afford the car. I can't afford to drive it. The, the exhaust system, like aftermarket exhaust for an Aventador, 
15 grand. Easy. You know, you need yeah. a new bumper because you ran into a curb. Yeah. Five grand minimum on a Gallardo, 10 grand on a Ventador. Like, they just, ugh. Yeah, it's super, super crazy. It's expensive. Yeah. Bonus question. Would you rather have a million dollars, but every time you spend any, you pee your pants, or have the ability to read minds, but the person is aware you're reading their mind? <laughs> I'd, I'd, I guess I'd rather read somebody's mind. It's not a big deal if they know what I'm thinking about them. No, but I mean, I'm old, so I pee in my pants anyways now. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, um, it's a trade-off, but if you could read minds, right? I feel like you could earn a million dollars. Absolutely, you could earn more than a million dollars if you could read minds. So know, we're gonna we're gonna become mind readers. Mind readers all the way. All right. Because then I finally feel like figure out what my wife was thinking. <laughs> See, this is why I like Miles. We gotta bring him <laughs> on the show more often. He's completely honest. He makes funny jokes. You know, it's a good time. So. And I'm a car guy. I love it. Yes. Love it. Love what you guys do, man. So Thank you for having me. That's another episode of this or that. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any more questions you want to ask us for the next next episode i can't talk anymore drop them in the comments below that's it we're out of here peace Woo.